Alright, so what's going on guys, today we're back with a brand new Respawn Boss video and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Monkey Stuff weapon so in my last video I had mentioned in my previous videos, all the videos I had mentioned the Monkey Stuff because basically I was reviewing the new offers of Child 2 and Monkey Stuff is an offer you can buy and you can also rent it and I think the rent is 10 minutes, it was, I don't know, for, it's for people with different times for another guy in my comments Ryan Powell said it was seven minutes for him, but for me before it was one day, 24 hours. Now they changed to 10 minutes. I don't really like that. But anyways, enough of me talking about this. Let's talk about the monkey stuff. So, it's a decent launcher. I'm gonna show you guys right now in missions and free for all. I'm gonna be reviewing it and making my conclusion on the end of the video as always. So, monkey stuff, good. I'm also using. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna show you that more in a bit. So it's a thing for three and a half to four, which is three and a half euros, which is four point five dollars. It's around there or something. Like the ISO weapon, which is my last review, which is gonna be first link in the description. All right, so the head I'm gonna be using is increases damage by twenty five percent with launchers, gives a thirty percent protection against all damage when support gadget, and oh, you also need speed increase. So I have health, damage increase, and speed increase with this. It's really really good. So let's go ahead in missions and test it out. All right, so I've gone ahead in missions and let's see how it performs. So let's see. So basically, it's not that it doesn't do splash damage. Uh, it does splash. Yeah, it doesn't do. No, it doesn't. It does. It does do splash damage? It just shoots like. You can see like the. It's a magic weapon, I think. That's why. Right. Let's see if it's a magic weapon. I think it's a magic weapon. Yep, it's. A, I think it was the first magic weapon or something. So yeah, you can see it's actually good, like the fire rate is bad and then everything else is good except the fire rate and the reload speed is good so the only bad thing is that that slows you down but you can counter it with a speed boost because every launcher slows you down so it has bad agility and also has really bad uh, fire rate so let's see how we can do emissions is kind of easy like to get many kills obviously but like if, if we cannot get any kills with a weapon in missions then you know how bad the weapon is oh yeah i forgot to mention guys the masters i'm using so if you go here the masters i'm using is the burning spirit one burning spirit two burn spirit three glass cannon which doubles your damage but lose your health so i have double damage in it plus 25 percent from the head i'm using and also zombie boo which basically doubles health but you lose regeneration. So basically I have normal health with double damage. Because if you use zombie with glass cannon, they cancel out. Because oh, zombie boot doubles your health and glass cannon halves your health. Alright, the 30 seconds left. And I actually want to say, I kind of like this weapon. The only thing I'm knowing is like this, there's no splash damage. Look, if I hit on the floor, it doesn't splash damage like the energy stinger does. So it's basically a bad version of the energy stinger. I, w I wouldn't actually, I don't, I wouldn't recommend buying it, to be honest, actually. I thought it was good. I thought it was really good at the start, but, like, no, I wouldn't recommend buying it. It's bad. I I, 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 I remember it being good, but I had played with it long ago. When the weapons weren't that OP. So, let's see. 34 to 1. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah you see, also, like, low mission kills. And I was playing. I, w I was talking, but I was also playing. It wasn't, like, other times. So, I'm gonna go now. To free for all, preferably, because like we cannot find a lobby in Team VS. And I hope we get a good lobby in free for all this time, because the last time we again got a bad lobby. I hope we get like a pro lobby so I can te really test this out. But yeah, see you guys there. Alright, so I joined free for all, and again I found a pretty noob lobby, not that bad. At least there's some sil there are bronze procedures. There's no silver procedures, that's a bad thing. But we can, we can kind of see even here, they will have some armor, so we can kind of see if it's good or not so bad there is no auto aim on this weapon it doesn't have splash damage and it's like basically launches have splash damage that's the whole like when you shoot down it has splash effect see actually now nah, i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend this weapon it's actually a bad weapon guys i wouldn't recommend this weapon at all now that i'm seeing now nah, it's really really bad i wouldn't recommend this weapon Yeah, guys, I wouldn't recommend that at all. There's no point doing a conclusion, I think, on this. 
I'm not gonna it's, okay I'm not gonna write the conclusion down for this I'm just gonna tell you guys so he has like basically bad fire rate bad range bad accuracy no splash damage the only good thing is the reload speed and then he has nine bullets for a rocket launcher nine bullets is decent decent ammo count and good reload speed that's the only good thing nothing else you have bad agility everything else is really bad and the damage is good, only that, the damage is good, I would. But I'm using so much buffs to to buff the damage, I mean, glass cannon and the wasp, the wasp said, which gives you 25% increase in damage in launchers. So yeah, that's why the damage is good, but basically overall this is a really bad weapon. To be honest, I, I, would, I didn't think it was that bad of a weapon, but I was really wrong, I, had, I, th I thought it was another weapon or something. Or I remembered playing with it like a long time ago. Because this has been a weapon out for a really while, a long while, like some many years. It's been out for quite a few years actually, so yeah, I remember it way, way better. Alright, so I think guys, you saw enough gameplay, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the lobby. Even though I'm first, I'm playing against bad people, but the, the gun is so, so bad. Like, honestly, in my reviews, I try to keep it positive, not say all the, all the guns are bad or something. I'm trying to say like, okay, it's an average weapon or something, I say. I don't say like, oh, this is really bad, because not all the guns are bad, like, all of them are good, but some guns are really, really bad, like, responsible, either it's gonna be broken, some are gonna be average, and some guns are just gonna be really bad, and this gun is just gonna be, like, no, non-playable. So, basically, monkey stuff, would I recommend buying it? I wouldn't recommend buying it at all, even with one euro, I wouldn't recommend buying this weapon, because, basically, you don't really need this weapon for nothing. That is why I recommend you guys, I really had fun with it. It doesn't even have an active skill to have, it, it cannot even be a fun weapon, this weapon. So I wouldn't, re I wouldn't recommend you buy the mining stuff. I don't recommend you guys to buy it, just so you guys understand that clearly. So this was my review on it, just so you guys can see I didn't even want to play with it until the end of the free throw game, that's how bad this weapon is. And I wasn't even playing in a good lobby, I was playing with like bronze and, and no prestiges. And I didn't even want to play because I was just so boring and... The gun isn't even that good, and it's just, I don't know, guys, this weapon is just bad. Wouldn't recommend this weapon. If you got, if you guys want, you can buy it. I'm not going to be the person that stops you. But my opinion is, I don't like this weapon. I wouldn't recommend you guys buying it. So, yeah, catch you guys on my next review. My next review is going to be the Blackbird Kit Bundle, which is this one right here. And I do recommend you guys to buy this. I had told you uh, this one right here. I do recommend you guys to buy this. And I've said it in my previous videos because this is really good for 11, 10, 11 years which is like $13 or something. This is really, really good. I really recommend you guys buying this. So yeah, catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for all the support. It really means a lot. Peace.